Welcome back everyone to another Polygon Matic video. If you do enjoy staying up to date with everything Polygon and crypto related, make sure that you are subscribed so you never miss out. Consider following me on Twitter where I tweet daily information about the Polygon ecosystem at NARV Trading. Gently tap that like button and let's get right into it. So the first thing that I want to go over today is a new blog post written by the Polygon team called Polygon Ecosystem DAO. The next phase of DeFi and Web3 begins on Polygon and it will be decentralized and community first. Another very exciting announcement here from Polygon. This is great for all of the community and holders of Matic. And there is some really interesting information in here. So I'm going to quickly go over some of the key points of this post here. Obviously, I can't go over the entire thing in this video because there is a lot of information. But this link will be in the description below. But they start out by saying this. Our team recently did some analysis on network effects in DeFi and came across an interesting metric popularized by Robert Metcalf, one of the co-inventors of the Ethernet. According to him, a network's value is proportional to the square of the numbers of nodes in the network, and in the case of Polygon DAU. Despite a crash in the market and a 60% fall in the price of Matic from its all-time high, the value of the network continues to show a strong upward trend. So when you take a look at this diagram here, the red line is the Matic market cap, which has fallen during this market correction. By the way, this only goes to July 17th, so this was before we started to move up recently, but then this blue line is based on the Polygon Metcalf's value. So as you can see, though the market cap has fallen during this correction, the value of Polygon has continued to rise. And this is something that we have talked about a lot on this channel. We've talked about how much value Polygon is providing to the crypto space, and it's only a matter of time before you see that play out with the price of Matic token. Now in this next paragraph, they kind of go over all of the top mobile wallet integration and exchanges Polygon has gone live on and how growing on-chain users is a top priority. And in this chart down here, you can see the daily active addresses on Polygon. And this has really been on a steady uptrend since around May and really took off in June of this year. But kind of the main focus of this post is to discuss the DAO model, which stands for Decentralized Autonomous Organization. And it talks about the differences and pros and cons of a DAO model compared to a representative council model. So with DAO, all token holders vote on proposals that govern the DAO. And with the representative council, it would be the community elects members from the wider DeFi ecosystem that then operate as working groups or committees. So they say that they've been weighing out the pros and cons of these two extensively and then they go much more in depth on what their research has shown them and how they've been talking to other platforms as well but in summary they are simply discussing different ways a DAO model can work but they do encourage the community to get involved here to pitch any new ideas they state this is something that the community can chime in with ideas but we have a few starting points so first, every committee member should champion at least one proposal in their tenure of three months in the council, failing to which they are rescinded of their seat. They will be compensated during this tenure. As the Polygon ecosystem grows, the committee members have a front seat opportunity over others to increase cross-collaboration of their products as mentioned above. Voting for elections of new members could be implemented in multiple ways, like using staked Matic on POS or via the DAO token holders. We encourage the community to start a healthy discussion around this. So it seems like they really want to hear the community's thoughts on this, which is really kind of the point, right? So I would definitely recommend reading over this post in full. And they also give some examples on how this could work. And at the end, they say, we want to push this conversation to our Polygon community. So feel free to discuss discuss your ideas and thoughts here. So I always love to read these Polygon blog posts. To me, this is where you're going to find the most in-depth information on what's happening in the ecosystem. Definitely check out that article when you have the time and leave any ideas here as well. Now there is another piece of news that is pretty exciting here that just dropped this morning. Matic and USDC deposits and withdrawals are now supported on Polygon POS mainnet on Crypto.com. So the Crypto.com app now supports deposits and withdrawals from Matic and USDC through the Polygon network. And this is their first Ethereum scaling protocol integration in addition to the ERC20 network, 
Very, very cool. And then the last piece of news that I wanted to show you all before we jump into the charts is this one here. StrongBlock will be launching Polygon nodes. With Polygon nodes, Strong Node Army brings their clout to expand the Polygon network. Very interesting. StrongBlock, the nodes as a service provider, will soon be launching full blockchain nodes for Polygon. With over 9,300 operators running 65,000 nodes, StrongBlock allocates resources to networks seeking security diversity and decentralization. Then towards the end of this article, something that I thought was really great as well, StrongBlock also plans to launch some of its NFT earning initiatives on Polygon in the future. Further, Polygon has agreed to subsidize a portion of node rewards through a grant of Matic tokens to the StrongBlock community. Awesome, awesome stuff here. And if you aren't familiar with StrongBlock, it is the first and only multi-chain nodes as a service platform to reward Award nodes for supporting their blockchain infrastructure. So that, folks, is all that I have for news today. Now let's go ahead and jump into the price and chart. So the Matic price today is at $1.53, up 13%, and the market cap now $10 billion once again. And as we discussed in my past videos, there is no need to worry as we pull back a little bit here, and we did pull back. But today and yesterday, we are seeing a very strong move up here into recent highs. And over the last month or so, the price really has continued to respect this uptrend. This is obviously exactly what we want to see continue moving forward, but the most important price level to to break above next in the short term is right here around $1.70. This is where the next major resistance lies and this is the price point where you're going to want to keep your eyes on as we continue to trend this way up. But today I just want to go over a few indicators for Matic just to give you guys a better perspective on how bullish things really are right now. And really almost all of the major indicators are pointing to more upside. So first just taking a look at the moving averages here, we are above the 250 and 20 day moving averages which is obviously a really bullish signal. So not only has the price action itself created these strong support zones, but these moving averages tend to work as support as well. Now the next indicator I want to show everyone is the MACD indicator. And as we take a look here, you can see we've continued to be on the bullish side of this indicator since that rebound began around July the 20th. And you may be thinking, well, could this mean that we're almost a little bit too bullish if these lines are trending up for too long? Well, let's compare this to what we saw in May of this year. And as you can see, we can certainly go much higher than where we are now. But I will say I would rather see this type of slower upward movement continue rather than something that we saw in the first part of 2021. Now, the next thing that I want to take a look at is the relative strength index. So with the RSI, we are in overbought territory. Not extreme overbought levels though, and as we take a look at the history here, you can see that there has definitely been longer periods of time where we were well overbought, but this is even another reason why I prefer a slow and steady uptrend like we've been getting. Because if we take a look to what we had over here with this massive parabolic move, like I always say, just as fast as you go up, you can come crash crashing right back down. And that is what we experienced here. Yes, we saw this incredible push to the upside very quickly, but it was then followed by a very steep drop to the downside. And obviously that's not necessarily what you want to see with price action. We went from 70 cents to $2.70 in under two weeks time, but then dropped all the way back down to 70 cents at the bottom here just about a week later. So you really do want to see this more steady uptrend action that we're seeing today just so we simply have some stability with the price of Matic and not just a pump and dump. But now the last thing that I want to show you all is the volume. So I must say the volume here hasn't been crazy impressive lately. We are still seeing relatively low volume here for Matic, but I do think the longer that we trend up, the more volume will be pushed in here. But that is certainly something I would like to see pick up moving forward. I don't necessarily love when we have lower volume levels, even when the price is going up. So again, that is something that I am keeping my eye on moving forward, but obviously overall, things are looking really great here for Matic and the crypto market as a whole. 
I believe Bitcoin hit another recent high today. Yep, and Ethereum is also looking very strong as well. And it does seem like we are seeing the beginning of another big bull run here towards the last part of 2021. Sentiment is certainly great right now. We don't seem to be getting all of the FUD that we were getting before, and I am excited to see what happens next. But again, a $1.74 Matic, that is the price point to keep your eye on. That is going to be it for today's video. So make sure that you are subscribed. Follow me on Twitter at NARB Trading. Leave a like, it really helps me out, and I will see you all next time.